reading English practice via stories. Be truthful. There once lived a small boy called Pukhraj, who was the son of a farmer. The one trouble with Pukhraj was that he often told lies to his family and to his friends. He would tell stories of monsters in the jungle or he would pretend that there were deadly snakes in the field or that he was too sick to work when he was really not sick at all. It was the young boy's job to take his father's cattle out grazing each morning in a clearing in the jungle on the edge of a nearby hillside. Pukraj did not enjoy this job very much because he found the cattle very boring and often wished that his life was filled with more fun and adventure. But instead of fun and adventure, Pukraj found himself doing the same boring jobs each and every day. And this made the young boy very resentful. And it was the resentment which often caused naughty Pukraj to invent stories that were not true. One day, when the young boy was specially bored with looking after the kettle in the clearing, he decided to have a joke with the people of the village. I shall pretend that I am being attacked by a lion, thought Pukraj. And all of a sudden, the young boy began to scream as lou- loud as he could. Help me, help me, he cried. I am being attacked by a fierce lion. At once, the brave villagers all rushed up the hillside towards the clearing so that they could save young Pukraj from the lion. But when they arrived in the clearing, there was no lion at all. Just the young boy rolling around on the ground laughing to himself at what a joke he had made. The villagers were very disappointed in Pukraj and warned him that such jokes were not sensible. But the naughty boy was too busy laughing to pay any notice to such warnings. A little time passed and life returned to its normal routine. Pukraj took care of the cattle each morning by taking them out to graze in the jungle. And each evening, he would return to Kettle to his father's field before dinner. But young Pukraj was still restless, still resentful of his boring life to work and routine. And so, one quiet morning, he decided to play the same trick on the villagers. Once he had reached the clearing in the jungle, once he was sure that the timing was just perfect, he began to scream as loud as he could. Help me, help me cried the naughty boy. I am being attacked by a fierce lion. Please come and save me. The men and women working in the fields at the edge of the village all ran up the hillside towards the clearing in order to save the cattle and the young boy from the fierce lion. But when they reached the clearing, there was no lion at all. Once again, Pukraj was found rolling around on the ground in fits of laughter. You all look so funny, cried the naughty boy. There is no lion. I was only joking with you. He he ha ha. The villagers were very, very angry with Pukraj, and his father was forced to apologize for his son's terrible behavior because many of the people believed that Pukraj should be punished for his actions. You must not tell lies, his father warned. But the young boy was too busy laughing to pay attention to his poor father. On the following morning, as Pukraj was resting in the shade of a tall tree, watching the cattle grazing in the clearing, he heard a gentle rustling of leaves behind him. When the young boy turned to see what was making such a noise, he came face to face with a huge lion. The lion had big claws and menacing eyes and very sharp teeth. Pukraj jumped to his feet as quickly as he could and tried to run from the jungle towards the village. But the lion quickly blocked his escape. Help me, help me, screamed the young boy as loud as he could. I am being attacked by a fierce lion. But when the villagers heard the young boy cries for help, they did not rush up the hillside towards the clearing. Not this time. Instead, they returned to their work in the fields as if nothing had happened. And so poor Pukraj was killed by a lion that day because none of the villagers believed that 
the naughty boy was telling the truth. He had told too many lies and laughed at the villagers too many times. And so they did not believe him when he cried out for help. That is what happens if you tell lies.